Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long time, but uh, I've been a little busy with exams and assignments. I've got a little Easter break now, so I think I'll be making a few videos here and there. Anyways, this video is if you've got an admit to a university in Norway, what are the next things that you should do? Things you should start preparing right away. And even if you didn't get an admit, um, don't be sad. It's not the end of the world. You can always apply it next time, apply in the future, or this is just this could be an informational video for you. So let's start. So if you get an admit um, from a Norwegian university, the first thing you should do is make sure you send a signed contract back to the university before the deadline. Why is it important? Because number one, it confirms your spot in, in your college. And secondly, the document will be used for further visa processing to get a residence permit or just to be just to be able to um, just to make study here. So if you got an admit and uh, I'm pretty sure the university has sent you an offer letter, don't waste any time, sign the contract right away and you're pretty sorted. Also some universities like uh, BI for example, they have links with CO, CO housing and after paying a small amount you can confirm a housing in Oslo for example in my case. So we had to pay 2000 NOx and that ensured that we have a housing, a student residence when we enter Norway. And that's very important because once again you won't get a visa if uh, you don't have a place to stay. So sign the contract and start looking for a housing. For, start looking for a housing. Number two, your residence permit deposit. Now, this is the only amount that you need to have in order to basically get a visa and enter Norway. In order to enter Norway, the authorities need to know that you have enough funds to sustain yourself for an, for an year, that is. I mean, you get student visas, uh, a student residence permit for a year. So you need to show that you have a specific amount to sustain in Norway and that amount is somewhere close to 120,000 NOx. I'll mention the exact figure here somewhere but start collecting the funds and uh, so in my case I had to submit the residence permit deposit amount to CEO's bank account here in Norway while I was there in India and uh, it's a pretty safe process. You just have to make sure. I mean, the only problem will be <laughs> your exchange rates, right? Other than that, everything is fine. So once you deposit your amount in a Norwegian bank, or in my case, it was your account, so you, your university will tell you how to proceed. The, the universities here are really, really nice in that aspect. So once you deposit the amount, you'll get a confirmation that uh, well, welcome to Norway. <laughs> no, so you deposit the amount, then when, when you move to Norway, you can actually withdraw all of that into your own bank account, which you'll open here, obviously. So I moved in August and my bank account, I opened it in September or October, the beginning of October, I don't remember. But um, once you have your bank account, you can take all the money out of it. And it's basically, it's very, very safe. And even if you pay the residence permit deposit and uh, if you cannot come to Norway, uh, they'll give you everything back. So it's a, it's a very safe bet. Thirdly, and uh, maybe the most important here is uh, your visa application. Now, to apply for a Norwegian visa, you need to go to UDI. That's where all the visa processing takes place. And uh, it's not difficult actually. They have, they have a checklist, you'll see a document, you'll have to put in which country you're from and what kind of visa you're applying for. And then they'll give you a checklist of all the documents that you need. And uh, just make sure you have uh, everything that's mentioned over there, like uh, maybe your academic transcripts or um, your offer letter from your school, all of that. And once you have all the documents in place, you need to book an appointment as the visa consulate. Just go there, show them the documents, and then you'll get approved. Anyways, if you want me to make a, a detailed video on the visa procedure, let me know in the comment section below. It's, uh, 
it, it seems a little hard when you're doing it for the first time I'll be honest I was a little uh, scared as well but in the end it turned out to be a really smooth process it's also a one time visa fee that's uh, 4900 nox and uh, you'll have to pay that in order to book your appointment at the consulate so yep start arranging all the funds next and the last point that i have on my list is uh, spend time with your loved ones your families your friends because once you're here you don't know when you'll get to go back some people stay here for uh, like two years three years before going back some people who can manage to return meet their family back again they go back uh, so yeah it's very important to spend time with your family make some good memories get their blessings spend time with your friends <laughs> and uh, don't forget to eat really good food because if you're coming from an asian country you know what i mean right <laughs> i miss all the street food back in delhi but the, the, the point is when you'll come here it'll be a new life new experiences so you should not have the regret of uh, I wish I could meet this person or I wish I could go to this place right so make sure everything is in order once you have your visa in place it's time to book your flight to Norway and uh, don't fret or don't worry about packing a lot of things because when I was coming here I, um, even my friends for, for example we thought it'd be, it would be really cold and we should pack a lot of stuff we should get things from India that were a little unnecessary <laughs> I would say you'd mostly get 90% of the things uh, pretty easily here in Norway um, I live in Oslo so I'll specifically talk, I'll talk about Oslo uh, you have uh, all these markets here Asian markets you will get where you get everything and uh, yeah I never felt like I was missing out on something so that's it for this video guys uh, I'll make sure to make another video on the things you should pack when you come to Norway and the things ah, you don't need right if you like this video uh, let me know in the comment section below and I guess I'll see you in the next one bye